Jelly Spoons, another non-binary kitchen utensils. This is a Gravy Wheels podcast, your local source of local. <laughs> it's been so long. It's been like a month. I'm Franklin. Who are you guys? I'm a- I'm Andrew. Still, I'm Hova, and we're alive. Believe it or not. <laughs> Uh, reports of our demise have been greatly exaggerated. <laughs> God damn, um, we have to explain ourselves again as to why. Yeah, why has this? Why has this been so long? Do we even have a compelling reason? I mean, I would say most notably you moving again. Yes, that's um, true. I moved back to my our New York apartment, and honestly, the baseball games were uh, the baseball season was nut. We got to. Tournament week, uh, tournament week, and uh, we were having. I mean, even before tournament, we were having three games a week at least, sometimes four or five, and then practices and shit mixed in too. So, baseball season was kind of wild with two kids going to two different places for games at the same night sometime and shit. It was wild. And Frank doesn't have any fucking excuse other than his schedule is completely jacked, and he likes to sleep. I'll put it this way. I wake up in the morning in our group chat. I'll say something and Frank replies because he hasn't gone to sleep yet. So Frank's going to sleep shortly after I wake up for the day. Yeah. I quit my He's job. This mushroom farm. I quit my job three months ago and it's really fucked everything up. It's not the, the money isn't the issue. The issue is that I have I have I, I, I have my I, I have no boss really. I mean what you I light on the structure. <laughs> So, um, I mean, you're missing the structure. I get it. Shit's hard yeah. to, you know, it's one of those things that people like to shit on people that do online work, but they don't, they've never, maybe never been in those shoes. They don't understand that with no one, with like no actual real deadlines and repercussions and people to keep you in line, it can actually be really hard to settle into. And, at like three or four in the morning, I can be shit hammer drunk and go outside and piss in my backyard without a shirt on, smoking a cigarette, and the neighbors can't judge me because they're all fucking asleep. I, yeah, I think it just fits your personality too to be a recluse, uh, a night recluse. I guess that makes sense. Hang on, my family's having a technological crisis. I have to go fix it, and I will be right back. It'll seriously take me like we'll fill one the, minute. So, also, uh, Frank's schedule is so fucked that even when he comes over to my house and spends the night, so as he does from time to time when we're doing things, uh, he'll get shit faced and stay on the couch, and then he sleeps until he sleeps until noon, even at my place. So, and I'm like not quiet. I'll come out and Dude, the other go day, to the bathroom and shit. You're just snoring away. The other day, <clears throat> people got up and left to drive to fucking Texas. And you didn't hear them you, go? You, you, I swear to God, I think that somebody may have touched me while I was sleeping. It could have been, like, if, if somebody... if I don't know if they didn't know. I would have done it whenever I let Minnie out, you know? Like no, when no, I woke no, up no, and she no, came no, out, no, no, she no. might have came over and fucked with you. I think that somebody, as they were leaving on their journey home, they came over oh, and, and, and said and, bye or something. And got like right in my face while I was sleeping and tried to talk to me. Or I had a very vivid dream about that happening and I went immediately like, back to sleep. Sounds like something Carl would do. It did. I, 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 Just to fuck with you. I think I think that's what happened. Or I had a very vivid dream of it happening. Were, were my kids there that morning? Could have been them too. <laughs> Yeah, but you took them home. Like, yeah, you, but you... before they left, they might have come over and, I mean, they're they're weird. Like, they could have just come <clears> over <throat> and just hovered over you and stared, you know? They do that, too, but they, yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was a fat, bald man. I for- yeah. I, I, Carl. I, I forgot. I also had COVID during this. Oh, oh yeah, COVID. Period. I forgot about that, too. And the whole fam had it and all that. There's a lot's <laughs> happened. We can't even think of everything, but that's our excuses. Yeah. We have a new president. Oh, it's Joe Biden too. They cloned him. It's actually the fourth clone now. I don't think they could successfully clone that fucking bag of bones if they tried. Let's be honest. <laughs> like it took it took thirty tries to get Dolly the sheep, and it came out with extra chromosomes. <laughs> they brought Biden in to clone him. They'd be like, "Look, it's a miracle he walked through the fucking door." 
cloned him and then Flash aged him. Jesus fucking Christ, I hope you drop your entire audio for that. Oh, I smoked two packs of cigarettes last night. Last night? There you go. <clears throat> Not like throughout the course of the day, but just last night. Jesus Christ. Oh! Something else that we should talk about. Jules being banned! Hova had a big uh, 4th of July celebration, as he does. And Videos as, up on the YouTube. Watch it if you haven't already. I come out and help out. Um, something happened that um, I'm kind of pissed off and he won't pay for it. But oh. Hova backed over my fucking favorite guitar and broke it. Jesus Listen, Christ. This will fuck? make a good thumbnail, and I commend you for that. But I did not do that damage. Who did? It was self-inflicted. And I was 100% sober. Not like California sober, like 100% sober. 100 One of the rare times I've seen Frank 100% sober or something break like that. Oh, yeah. It's fucking ruined. It cannot be fixed. It could be, but it's worth more than the value of the guitar. So, yeah, that's okay, cool. Okay, so... No, I need to... Remember, I wasn't there for this, so I do need a play-by-play -play on how this happened. It, 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 it? It's an like elaborate. Was... Let, let's just say there was a food emergency, and Frank's vehicle was in the way, and he had to move his vehicle. And he had his guitar leaning up against his vehicle, and had been warned that, "Hey, don't forget your guitar; it's leaning up against the vehicle." Frank was like, "Hey, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna do me." And uh, when he went to move his car for the food emergency. He was backing up, and we all heard this loud ass like crunch, and we were like, "I didn't know if he hit another vehicle in my driveway or the tree on the side of my driveway or what." And I ran over there, and uh, I so knew, I, I had knew, just I, knew. I had just gotten like three loads of gravel dumped in my driveway <laughs> to continue the driveway around in the back to my warehouse and stuff like that, and it had just been spread like the day before. So it was like really fresh gravel, like six, eight inches of fresh gravel. And the guitar case was, and that's another Shit. important factor, is the guitar was in the guitar case. But it was right on the edge of the gravel. And then there's like an eight inch slope down to my yard on the side of the driveway. So when he ran over it, it kind of pushed the guitar case into the gravel. And so it was like, when, you, when we first saw it, or when I first saw it, I was like, you might have gotten lucky because it, it, it had displaced so much of the gravel that I was like, maybe it, you know, was just structurally sound enough that it, that it absorbed the shock. And, uh, so he backed up slowly and I pulled it. I think I popped both the hinges, but I was like, Frank, you got to open it. I, I can't, I don't want to, I don't want to be the one that opens it and tells you if it's fucked or not. And it, uh, it was. It was. I like that you held out hope that perhaps it was a load-bearing acoustic guitar. Well, no, well, if, if, there was so much gravel that it really it could have been the case. Could've the case high. isn't really that fucked up except for the hinges are popped. Like, like, like if it, you would have done that, if you would have done that before the load of gravel was dropped, or like in my side yard or something, totally been... they'd be flat. It'd be fucking completely flat. So here's uh, that was Clementine, and this is Dolores. So uh, the replacement is already here. I like that one better. I like it too, but I, I haven't really played it yet a lot. I, I played it like maybe two hours, whereas that one I probably have like 400 hours on. It's pretty. Uh, yeah, but I, I don't like to play it because I don't want to fucking break it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so those of you guys that don't know Frank and his like traveling habits, I'm sure Andrew could attest to this. Maybe not to the extent that I can, but every time Frank shows up, he has, like, three gun cases with, like, an AR-15 and an AUG and God knows what's in the third. And, like, two guitars and, like, a maybe a cooler and three backpacks. And, I mean, Frank does not travel light. The he brings the fucking everything. So the third one is, is just like part of the problem. The third one is just, like, Dr. Gonza's briefcase. It's just a guitar there's gun. Actually, there's actually two Dr. Gonzo's briefcases I take with me. One for the cops to find, and one that I don't want the cops to find. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he showed me a med kit full of <laughs> questionable <laughs> substances. <clears throat> yeah. Yep, that's, that's Frank for you. 
And then we went shopping. So like, not only did you bring all the shit you brought, but then we went shopping and you brought you bought more things. It's so cute that you guys went shopping together. We did. We had a lot of people to feed. So get this. So I fucking smoke a, a eight pound pork shoulder, right? Like we're talking. It takes me a day. I have to pull it out of the freezer, leave it in on the, in the in the sink for a day for it to thaw, right? And then I make a brine. I soak it in a brine overnight that day. And then the next day, I trim a little bit of the fat, not much. Uh, I season it, rub it, you know, throw it on the smoker. And then it takes 16 hours to cook from that point. So we're talking like a three-day process fucking pork butt. And then I cooked, uh, uh, I smoked a bunch of chicken too. But I was afraid that that meat wouldn't be enough to feed like the 30-ish people that were going to be at my house before <laughs> So I decide with the uh, the old Uber Eats uh, slash Postmates, I don't even know what to call it anymore, sponsorship, that I'm going to go get some, some some pizza pies. And not only pizza pies, but uh, the only other place on the app in Sedalia is Perkins. And so I was like, ooh, 4th of July, I'll go get a bunch of fucking like fresh baked pies, right? So I get fucking, we got 13 pizzas and nine pies. It cost me like three or four hundred dollars. I can't even remember now. I'd eat two and a half pies. I'd eat two and a half fucking pies. <laughs> Thirteen pizzas, nine pies. The pies were a fucking shit show. I showed up and the guy looked at me like I was out of my fucking mind because the small town that we live in, people don't order Uber Eats or Postmates. And when you do, you don't get nine fucking pies. So this guy thought I was insane, but we eventually got it worked out. I got nine pies. I got the 13 pizzas. We drive back, and the idea was, because people were coming over like as early as noon, 11 o'clock, that, and we were going to be there, I can't shoot fireworks till like 9.15, 9.30, so I was like, well, we'll eat the pizzas <clears throat> at like 2 o'clock or whatever, and then I'll warm up all the smoked meats for pulled pork sandwiches around like 7, right, because you don't want to eat too early, and then people are hungry waiting on fireworks. So we set out all this food, and basically, everybody got so fucking full on the 13 pizzas that I bought that I, I feel like by the time I pulled out the pulled pork, like no one even fucking cared. There was actually leftovers and shit. I couldn't believe it. And like, I think only one pie got eaten, maybe two. I'm like, I'm sending Frank home with pies. I'm sending the in-laws home with pies. I'm sending fucking my mom home with pies. I sent everybody home with a fucking pie. People but, actually hey, we had fun. fucking pies. People. Yeah. Pies that was the fuck. Up. Too. That's the thing. <laughs> Cody fucking Cody showed up, him and his girlfriend, and they're like, we brought pies. And I think I literally said something along the lines of just like, fuck you. I, like, <laughs> I just pointed at the table. I was like, look, no, no more pies. I gave those pies away, too, man. Fuck. It, uh, actually, no, I kept one. One was Oreo and then the other one was key lime. I don't I don't get down on the key lime pie. So I gave that one away. It's a, but thank you, Cody, if you're listening. It's a smaller wine. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, oh, oh, oh this one's a four. And he's fuck off. It's just a tinier wine. It doesn't really taste much different than a regular wine. There, I think like a true key lime pie too. If you've ever had a slice of what people call like like real key lime pie, it's super fucking bitter. I'm not, I'm not for that, man. I guess it's like the warhead of pies. I guess it's cool for the. I get it, whatever. But I don't like it. Florida's fucking it's trash. You should have fucking, you should have come out, Andrew. I know you had just moved or were in the middle of a mood, but yeah, moved, you, you should have, you should have just swung by <laughs> and got some pie. <laughs> should have swung by, should have drove, dr like, I just finished driving to New York and then drove back. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, take a sure. fucking Amtrak, whatever you gotta do, you know. Mm. Don't take Amtrak to Missouri, actually, because we just had that derailment that you might have been bad. You might have been on that. Maybe it's a good. Maybe that's. It was like divine intervention that you didn't come to the Fourth of July party on an Amtrak. Oh. I mean, died. divine intervention in that I never considered it once, even for a second. <laughs> okay, if you want to be mean about it, sure. But <laughs> well, I mean, like you're suggesting something impossible. Eh, it's not impossible. Improbable, but not impossible. Imp but it was a fun Fourth. We had a. Uh, I like doubled the amount of canister shell racks. Because I think I looked at last year's video and there was like four or five, 
or maybe six. Doubles, there was four. There was four because I counted the canister yeah. racks. I counted the racks because all the ones with old dusty spider webs and shit on them. There was yeah, four. Yeah. There was four of those, and there were seven new racks added. See, I, I ordered those for last year's show, not knowing how the build quality would be, because I found like three <laughs> or four companies online that that sell canister shell racks, and I, those were the cheapest ones. And so I was like, well, I'll get one of each, see how they are. And then they, they're they really good build quality, uh, like really solidly made and, and a fair price. So fucking heavy. I was like, yeah, yeah, they're they're heavy duty for sure. But, with, I mean, that's what you want when you're dealing with that much pyro. So, yeah, this year I stepped it up. I ordered like seven more racks or something fucking ridiculous. We had like 350 canister shells, I think, for the entire show, plus all the cakes. Ended up being like a... I actually... I did it a little too fast. I wasn't really happy with my pacing. I'm going to slow it down next year. Ended up being about a 17-minute show. I think last year's show was like 22 minutes. But overall, it looked good. Everybody enjoyed it. I even had a, a neighbor that... Uh, her husband passed recently. Not to make this like a morbid story. But she was at the cemetery uh, spending time with her husband for the 4th. And she watched the 4th. Until, she texted me afterwards. She's like, I saw the show from down the fucking road. I was like, oh, cool. So... Everybody seemed to enjoy. It, it was a good show. And we're going to step it up next year and make it even fucking better. That's what we do. Exciting. Very nice. But Andrew, I need a goddamn drone pilot if you want to, you know, drive all the way across the country and then fly a drone for 20 minutes. <clears throat> well, I mean, like, next year, maybe. Right. Just, like, not this year while I, was in the stuff, I guess. when I was in the middle of all this garbage, you know. We right. packed up another... We packed up a Pinsky truck and had to drive it across the country, <laughs> so... You know what I always fun. hate though is like last fourth and this fourth. I I was fuck. I've been sober the last two fourth of July. <clears throat> I have too, but when I start putting on shows like that, like I can't. You know what I mean? Oh, and, I know, and you're I know, you're I helping know. me quite a bit too. Yeah, so it's I know, like. I know. Like, I, I drink, but yeah, no, I know what you mean. It's kind of like we need to have a party the night before, or the day, <laughs> maybe the next day, too, to where we can, like, because it just feels wrong not getting shit hammered on the 4th. That's like the one, it's the one day you really want to get that's, shit hammered. <clears throat> that's the problem with hosting a, an event, is like, yeah. you have to be, you have to be present for it. You have to be a little bit more on point, yeah. It, the event is no longer for you. That's true. But it's fun. I like to host, I mean,. I never got to go to any, like, good 4th of July parties when I was a kid. We would just go to the state fair show, and it's, like, garbage <laughs> these days. But, I mean, I feel like everybody coming out and getting to see a 20-minute fireworks show and eat pulled pork and fucking pies and shit, that's a, that's a good fucking time, you know? I mean, yeah, essentially for free food and a private show, like, that's bonkers. Right? I just tell people bring sides, you know? Bring a dessert, bring chips, bring fucking potato salad, whatever you want. Bring a pie! Mm-mm. <laughs> All right, we're going to do something. Yeah, maybe I should specify next year. We're going to do something fucking weird here. You guys aren't going to be able to see this, but the viewers, you at home will get to see this. We have a okay. we have a wheel. We have a spinning wheel now of topics. Oh, you you stole that shit from fucking uh, <laughs> Danny Brown. <laughs> Danny Brown show, dude. I've been watching too. I was like, damn, that's a good idea. That's some. All, All right, right, spin the fucking wheel. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, fuck. Halo Infinite Forge. I, I, I've seen a leak. Is that what you, is this just a loose topic and we can all jump in or how are we doing this? Uh, I didn't get a, I we, didn't get the script notes. We, we, nope. we, we, we stick less than 10 minutes on this topic. Less than 10 minutes. Cause we are okay, keep rolling. Go. So I saw a leak. You guys remember the map narrows from Halo three. So this was a long bridge on each side. There was giant, uh, like, uh, jump pads or whatever that would throw you across the other side. Yeah. Um, that's Narrows. I saw a leak a few days ago. Somebody has remade Narrows for Halo Infinite and Forge. And it's looking pretty spicy, dude. We'll see if it fucking works and if we ever get it and if it's paid DLC. But I'm excited. Why did oh, you say shooting. it again? I, I, right I, to the I, next one. I, I fucked up. I fucked he up. He pre-jacked. He got so I, excited. I, I, I fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's got fireworks and shit going on. It's recording. Well, now since well now since we're talking about Halo Infinite, we should talk about too the fact that Battlefield is kicking its mud hole in the dirt. Oh my god, it's so funny. I mean, I have, so we have to keep a couple things in mind here. Uh, <laughs> Halo is obviously going to have a lot of its player base on Xbox. So if you've seen the clickbait title in your in your feed or whatever. 
the the Steam count for Halo Infinite has dropped below Battlefield 2042 <laughs> Steam count uh, Steam player count. So, uh, which is still it's still significant. Like we can't just be like, oh, it's well, it's an Xbox game. No, it, that's still bad because I think it peaked. Like, what did Halo? We should have fucking done a little research, I guess. But I think I want to say Halo Infinite. <laughs> Why would we do at, that? I, you're right. I want to say Halo Infinite peaked at like 300,000 concurrent players cuz Steam charts it'll show, you know, what it's what every game has peaked at at one point. Um, right. so for to go from like 300k to like 5k and now Battlefield 24 2042 is beating you and the the ironic mm-hmm. thing is that if you guys remember when Battlefield 2042 launched and it had a like really lackluster launch, everybody was just kind of shitting all over it. The devs came out and said specifically that it was Halo Infinite, it was the reception, the well reception of Halo Infinite, it, that was mostly to fault as to why 2042 wasn't performing well. So the, the tables have just completely fucking turned, and uh, it's, it's kind of fun to look at. Uh, it's, I, I haven't booted up Infinite since the new season started. I, the new season started, and I got the season pass for it, and instantly like stopped caring i fucking i booted it up the other day i've done it a couple times recently and i'll play a match or two and th- it just feels you know i mean i'm on questionable internet but from time to time players will just kind of teleport or you'll notice like some desync um you know the hit detection and everything it's just like i i didn't realize how bad halo infinite was until I've been like jumping back and forth and I'll just boot Master Chief Collection. I'll play some Halo 2, I'll play some Halo Reach, whatever. And those games feel so much fucking better. For, you know, I'm, I don't know all the, the net code issues and, and all the whatever the fuck the problems are with Halo Infinite specifically, but the Master Chief Collection just feels so much better when you play a match than it, than it does when you play Halo Infinite. It's fucking sad. My only thing on this, and going back to fucking Halo Infinite getting forged eventually down the fucking roadmap, is I want Zanzibar and the grapple, grapple shot. Yeah, I'm sure it'll. I mean, it sure, be fun. It, it, here's the thing: like we know we're gonna jump back on and we're gonna <laughs> check out some forge and everything, but I, and, and maybe it'll be enough to bring some players back. But I just, I think it was pretty obvious from the start when we all found out that like forge wasn't gonna be here campaign co-op wasn't going to be here at launch these things it, it was just a very obvious like by the time 343 finally shits this stuff out it's going to be fucking too late everybody will have already moved on they're not interested in re up you know updating halo infinite and hopping back on and getting used to the fucking health and the hit detection and you know they're just going to keep playing warzone or whatever the fuck they've been playing yeah I, the, I, in sad. the interim, I have been playing a lot of Call of Duty. Like, just really? when I want to scratch that itch, you know, play something shooty that feels pretty good. Campaigns or multiplayer? <laughs> Both. Um, yeah. I've I've played through. I finished. I finally played through Vanguard's campaign, which was mediocre. Um, but yeah, I spent a lot of time playing that online. Like when that Godzilla and Kong event hit uh, Warzone, I played that a lot. You know, right. I've been, yeah, just kind of enjoying that because I don't have to think about it very much. It's it's a really easy game to just pick up and enjoy kind of instantly. On that note, would you, because my biggest gripe with that is like, I don't necessarily want to play the newer, more modern Call of Duties that have active player bases. You know, when I'm like, if I could just scratch the itch of like, hopping on MW2 or Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1 or MW3 or whatever, I would definitely do that. And with the recent uh, rumors that Gears of War is going to be launching some sort of a Master Chief Collection style uh, Gears of War game, which they kind of already did with Gears Ultimate way back when, and they did, they did a really good job on that one. Um, do you think that Call of Duty would ever do that? Or do you think that they're just going to keep doing it kind of the way they have, where they'll remaster one every once in a while? And sometimes it'll have multiplayer, sometimes it'll be only a campaign, but they can, like, use that as bundleware to sell the new fucking space cod that they're unsure about. Or, you know what I mean? I mean, that that seems like, if I'm speaking purely as, like, a cynical publisher, then, like, yeah, that's a good 
strat to just keep them tied to right. the newer, newer Call of Duties that people are sort of tepid on. Like, that makes sense to me. Um, yeah, unfortunately. But also, it's like, you, you're you making a new one of these games every year. Like, how, who who the fuck is going to work on a remaster of Modern Warfare 3 or yeah. whatever? You know, it's like, it's... The workload logistically almost makes more sense for, like, a collection. And if you think about it, it's almost a smarter move if you're trying to, like, okay, yeah, you, you released Black Ops 2 Remastered, um this year but then three or four years from now you know mw3 remastered comes out and you're still splitting player bases you jump on one of those there might not be enough people populating the servers to get matches but the master chief collection idea is actually kind of especially for call of duty when there's so many titles it would actually be a really good idea um i don't know how that would work considering i guess the different studios and stuff don't really matter it's still all activision so i mean that'd be because the way that that works, like with Master Chief Collection, you can search multiple games from multiple titles at once. So imagine, like, you, you pop in Call of Duty, right. fucking the the whatever, the Ghost Collection or some shit, and you can search for MW2, MW3, Black Ops, and Black Ops 2 all at the same time and just get whichever match you get. Because you're, you're combining the player pools. You have a, a much stronger chance of keeping those, those players on the game and playing, you know, I... a lot longer. What I think, again, like from a cynical publishing perspective, and we are talking about Activision here, so that's how they look at everything, is that those older games don't have monetization schemes, so who gives a shit? They're not live service games. They don't print money like Warzone and all the newer CODs do that are all tied to the same shop and have like cross-game unlocks and shit. Yeah. I mean, you do it it maybe to like keep the fans (laughs) slightly happier, and then that's kind of it. I could definitely see Activision looking at what Master Chief Collection has done, where there is an unlock system for skins in, like, um, you know, Halo CE, Halo Reach, Halo 3. You could unlock skins through playing the Master Chief Collection for those games. I could see Activision doing the exact same thing, but those are monetized in some way, you know, in some way, shape, or form. Where, hey, yeah, you can get Black Ops 1 skins or MW3 skins or player cards or animated emblems or whatever the fuck. Um, but yeah, they're they're either coming from a loot box or some sort of a, you know, a store page or well, some shit. My history with Call of Duty is spotty. You know, there are big gaps, so I don't have the same. I don't think I have the same attachment to it that a lot of other people do. But I I, I personally like the way that they are doing it. With like, it seems like every so often they'll just bring back some maps from past games. Like that's yeah. mainly what, as a player, like that's what I want the most. I don't really. I like. I like bring. I like remakes too. I know a lot I, of people don't. They think it's lazy. Whatever. The I, thing I mean, is, like, I, 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 even somebody who has taken a lot of time off from Call of Duty, you go through that progression treadmill so many times right. that it's like I kind of get sick of it, and like I just want to have all my shit. You know, like I don't want to. I don't want to necessarily start a, new, a remaster of Modern Warfare three or whatever, and then have to start back at zero and like grind right, all the way back up to yeah. get. Yeah, it's like I just. I like doing that stuff, but at a point, it's like, I just don't, I just, I just want to play with the fun shit. Yeah, I hear that. Makes sense. Are you guys excited for MW2 at all? The the new, the Modern Warfare 2019 sequel? Uh, I didn't play Modern Warfare, so, but I mean, sort Dude. of, I, I'll, I'll get it. That that's, I'll, that's your homework. That's your gravy homework. Is you need to play the Modern Warfare 2019 campaign. It's so fucking good, it's solid as fuck. If you're if you've got that, especially right now, you said you've kind of got that shooter itch, both campaign and multiplayer. Why I, I highly highly recommend that campaign. It was so good. All right, yeah, I can check it out. All right, it, it's it's been ten minutes, <laughs> at least. Oh no, what is this? <laughs> Abortion for nine hundred, Alex. Oh, here's an off-ball one. Black olives or green olives or both? Black olives, next. It depends on what we're talking. Are we, are we talking toppings? Snack? Snacks? As a, as a, I don't, as I a, don't, compo- as a component, black olives. Yeah. By themselves, or like with stuffing, softer. green olives. Yeah. That's, that's my thing, because I don't think I ever... I don't think I've ever had green olives. Did you put that on there because of the pizza visit? Frank, 
Yes. Do you remember what I'm talking about? Yeah, because you guys put green olives. You tried. You tried to get green olives um, from Papa John's. I was ordering a black olive pizza. Yeah, I was ordering a black olive pizza, and there was green olives in the in the ingredients. So I was like, "Fuck it, just extra olives." You know, like Katie and I both love Dude, olive okay. pizza. Now you could so, do a, uh, you could do a Mediterranean style pizza with feta and like green olives. You yeah, could, you could fucking bought off and but spinach a, maybe, but a Papa John's couldn't. Well, I, anyway, it doesn't matter. But I got there, and they were, like, insulted that I ordered green olives. I'm like, it was on the fucking thing. He's like, we haven't had green olives in, like, four years. I'm like, all right, whatever. Uh, but anyways, I don't think I've ever had green olives without a stuffing. So I, I'm, I'm a fucking, I'm a big sucker for those the garlic stuffed green olives, though. The jalapeno yeah. ones. Those are my shit. The jalapeno ones are okay, but I like, I like the green, I like the garlic because it's, like, it's a, a crunchy inside of the soft olives, so, like, the, the texture and everything works. Pop those in a fucking Bloody Mary, dude. You'll have me naked by 9.30. So, do you guys remember seeing, though, the green olives I have that have a... They're stuffed with a gherkin? They're these uh, I think I remember you sending those a while back, yeah. Gigantic green olives with a little gherkin in them. They're great for that Bloody Marys. Good. Yeah. All right, so we done... Frank and I just want that. Bloody Marys. <laughs> <laughs> we done with that? We're done with that. We're done with I think we're moving going on. Oh. Yeah. Now, so these are going to be, we're, we're launching our clip channel, and that's the whole reason he brought the fucking spin wheel up, is that's just the olives. Ah, uh, new golden content. wheel. Golden wheel. God damn it. New golden eye. Golden eye. Golden eye. I'll believe it when I see it. I've heard, I just saw something recently that the delays on that are due to the war in Russia. That there's some sort of, like, because, I mean, and it kind of makes sense. That uh, I guess that they might think that that's a, a sensitive time to drop Goldeneye when all the, you know, it's all about the fucking USSR and shit. So, isn't that why we still don't have Advance Wars? One and two remaster. Did bullshit. you notice though, Vanguard? Right? Yeah, Vanguard. That's the most recent Call of Duty, correct? Am I crazy? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, Vanguard right. has uh, swastikas in the campaign. And I didn't realize they went that route. I, I'm glad they did. I think that kind of censorship is stupid. I understand that I don't have, you know, I, I can't say too much. Like, it's not offensive to me, so I don't know how that feels. But I just don't understand, like, hiding from the history. Whenever it's, like, the subject matter yeah. is fighting Nazis. Yeah. But I remember World War II came out, uh, the Sledgehammer World War II Call of Duty. And I there was no, it just felt weird. Like, you're playing a game shooting Nazis and, like, there's no swastikas anywhere or anything. Like, yeah. we're going to pretend Hitler didn't exist, but this is a Nazi game. Like, what the fuck are we doing? I don't. I don't go ahead, Andrew. I don't, I don't quite get it. I, no, I know. I don't, I just, I don't quite understand that either. Saying, it's like, so. I, uh, why? Yeah. I don't want to be all fucking McCarthyism on this, but are you now or have you ever bought Nazi memorabilia off of eBay anybody <laughs> not answering that publicly <laughs> I can say no I can say no, no. I haven't <laughs> alright wait no I have to give context now no we don't <laughs> God damn it. Uh, do go back guys... and listen to episode 23 or some shit. I don't know. Oh, we can't do that one. We can't do that one. We just did Goldeneye. This this wheel is rigged. <laughs> you have to choose in the settings to remove the ones that you, that get selected. Oh, who does your hair? Goldeneye is one of those things that, like, I've seen the rumors for it so many times. It's like the Switch Pro at this point where I'm like, I'll fucking believe it when I have it. Like, that's that's the only yeah. point. They did come out with the Switch Pro. But, but it, it, it's we know no, it's they legit. Didn't. So for those of you guys that don't know with Goldeneye, the, uh, we've talked about it on here, I believe. But the the achievements are already up. If you go to like the 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 websites that that track all the achievements and stuff, the, there's achievements that are there and have been unlocked by a rare developer that like lives in Sweden or some shit. So it's like it's not it's not a secret. There's definitely a game there. No one really knows if it's like just the game ported to the Xbox, or if it's like a remaster, or what. Uh, but there, there is definitely something being worked on behind the scenes, and it seemingly is mostly finished, or completely finished, and just kind of is in limbo, and they so, can't release it for whatever reason. Oddball topic, though. Do you guys know the actor that played Odd Speaking, Job? That was a great... Um, Do you know what he went to fucking prison for? No. Oh. 
Well, Killing we, somebody with a hat. You know, we're not gonna. Well, you, you can we can you can look at that on your own time. That's homework. He's the one that says the plane, right? Or is that a different character? No, that's Herve Villachez. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's in Man with the Golden Gun. <laughs> oh, okay. Same thing. No. Oh. Lost the plane. Nobody does my hair. I do my own hair. I haven't had my hair cut in like six months. I put leave in conditioner <laughs> in it now. Dude. Never mind. I used to do three cans of that a day, but that's another time for another what topic. What the fuck? Bo -bo -bo -bo. Battlefield 2024 versus Infinite. We can't do that. We already did that one. Fuck you. You, 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 you suck, suck at the wheel. <laughs> the wheel's rigged, dog. It's like a fucking EA fucking click. Purpose. Click the settings and it'll remove the topics that it lands Dude. on. Oh, EA Gamble Light. All right, so how much money did EA make last year off of FIFA? One all of point six billion. One point six two billion dollars. That's nailed it. Fucking ridiculous. Games as a service, baby. I it doesn't surprise me because I remember being at EA for one of the games that we were supposed to promote at the time. And they asked us, they were like, do you know... Actually, it wasn't one of the EA... Yeah, it was. It was somebody working for EA, but he wasn't like... What mobile game whatever. was it? He's like, he's like, do you know what the highest earning you know, EA title the is Sims. for whatever year? <laughs> and I was Pickle. like... I, I was like, I don't know. I, I guessed whatever the newest Battlefield was, I think. you know, I just kind of guessed threw that out there. And he was like, no, it's uh, it, it's The Simpsons... Whatever The Simpsons mobile game Tapped was. Tapped out. Tapped time. out was fucking awesome. Yeah. I didn't even know it existed until he told me that it was the highest earning fucking game that year for EA. And I was like, holy shit. And I think it was one of the, it was a number in the B's, in the billions, you know? And I, So yeah, nothing surprises me anymore. There's mobile <laughs> games out there that are making more money than we will ever fucking see in our graduating class. I had together time soon. Yeah. Yeah. Thousand. Speaking of uh, mobile games that are printing money, what's the what's the recent verdict on how much Diablo is making? Five hundred thousand dollars to max out your fucking character, right? Was that well, what they figured out? That's the, the jewels. If you if you, if you if you actually maxed everything out, you could drop like five hundred, like half a million dollars if you did the jewel thing. So what is it? Yeah, you have to pay for like that little quest or what? I watched somebody's video so, of like doing whatever those like little paid runs were, and he all, and like all the all the loot he got off of it was junk. And that, I'm still playing Infinite or Immortal, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, I'm actually the the clan that I'm in is actually like one of the. If you play the game, you know what this is. They're one of the Immortal clans. So like basically that means we're in the top three clans on the server, and everybody else is kind of against our. The, our clan and then the two others that we're sort of al allied with. Um, so the, what's the way that this works is you buy these crests. These crests you can then apply to runs of this uh, rift, which is like a, a little, like a short little dungeon. You kill X number of enemies and then you fight a boss. Um, and they're randomly generated and they can be done as many times as you want. But you only get certain rewards for them if you <coughs> spend crests on them to, like, increase their difficulty a little bit. So you don't so, like, get drops, basically, unless you apply these real money purchased things. You do get drops. You get drops, but you get, like, armor and maybe some, like, smaller equipable gems, but you don't get these big ones that provide big bonuses and stuff. Legendary gems, they're called. So it's almost like a multiplier. It's like playing with a double XP token that you have to purchase, kind of. Sort of, yeah. To put it in. But... Okay. But so every time you use a legendary crust, you can apply one, two, three, or ten to a run. I think there are like two fifty a piece if you break it down. Um, but Holy one shit. of those guarantees a legendary drop, and so a legendary gem drop, and then legendary. If gems, you apply ten, no, one of those one of those crusts. Oh, just one. Gu okay. Guarantees. So if you use ten, you get ten. Okay. Like that's how it works. It's, it's a one to one kind of thing. Um, but then those gems roll on a table of rarity from one star up to five star. And the 
difference is that five star gems give you this stat called resonance. And the higher the resonance you have, you get a percentage multiplier to your base stats. So like I know this well, I know all the stuff I'm talking about is pretty confusing, oh, okay. but like the higher your resonance is, basically you can like double or triple your stats. It's insane. There's no cap on resonance. Jeez. So if you if you if you have six legendary gems equipped that are all five star and they're all upgraded to shit, then you can have like you can be dealing like several, several, several times the damage that anybody else can deal. Unless they've also spent like that much money and gotten that lucky. So they put enough incentive, like enough insane incentive into the, the way that that shit works to where people are going to just spend stupid money because that's the way you get like the strongest. If, yeah, I mean, if you're gunning to be like the top people on the server, then yeah, you're probably going to be spending a lot of money. They probably just wanted, they knew that they would have like X amount of their players would be the whales that are just going to spend thousands a month. And Yeah. Nice. I, that's kind of how the game's built, but... That being said, if you are playing the game just to like enjoy you having don't have to spend RPG, any money so, like, at all. you don't have to spend no, no, you don't have to spend a dime. And the game does give you legendary crests every so often, and it gives you ways that you don't have to pay for it to craft legendary gems. So you can still roll on that table just by playing the game. Mm -hmm. But so, I mean, it's obviously at a much slower rate. So they did it in a really like middle of the road kind of way where it's. Because I remember, like, when those headlines first popped up about how much it cost to, like, fully max out a character. But it didn't really make that big of a splash because they, like, they did it just right to where it's like, yeah, you can do that, but you definitely don't have to. Yeah. So they can No, I mean, that's, by. that's the way it is. I mean, it's, and it's funny to me as somebody who's played a lot of mobile games, like, I just, I'm always downloading whatever the new, you know, fuck, I'll play Raid Shadow Legends for a month or two, you know, whatever. Um, it really doesn't seem that egregious to me because, like, I've played so many other games that are just like pure gotcha things right. where it's like there's this six star character that you want to get, and you're gonna have to open you know 50 capsules to maybe get you know. It's this. It to me, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's just the same. But those I games think it's just are new to Diablo, maybe. So that's why it's that it is new to Diablo and. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The the core gameplay is fun, like, without spending any money. You, you really don't have to spend a dime on that game to have fun with it. So I think that the, like, reaction to it is, like, massively overblown. Although I do agree that, I mean, if you want to max out a character, sure, then it's still, that's going to cost it's, you. It's still, it's still predatory, though. But, but whatever. They can legally get away with it. I, it... Well, it's, it is predatory in the way that anything that operates on loot boxes or whatever is, it, you know, people who have that sort of, that gambling addiction, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to spin that wheel, you know, it's going to, it's going to scratch that itch. So maybe if you buy a bunch of scratchers tickets, you shouldn't play Diablo Immortal. Probably not. You should choose one or the other. All right. It's time to spin that wheel. <laughs> We're just changing the name of the podcast to spin that wheel. <laughs> Oh, the Trimmer series. We can't really even get into this because Burt Gummer's uh, a hero. Fred um, Ward. We need sorry, uh, Fred. We need Trimmers games. We need Trimmers video games and a new movie Fuck and TV yeah. shows and an anime, anime and a mobile game without predatory loot boxes. Let's make our own Trimmers game. <laughs> what? Um, I think we've talked about this before, but God, lick Kevin Bacon's abs. Dude, how have they not made one of those stupid fucking co-op survival games yet for Trimmers? Where one person controls oh, the Trimmer, dude. the Graboid? How oh, cool that'd be that pretty, be? What if you did it like the fucking uh, the Chainsaw Hand the game? Classes, the classes Evil are dead. already there because one person's Burt and they have like dynamite and fucking bunkers and shit. <laughs> Dude, and you're in a small fun. village out in the desert with like other small yeah. settlements around. We fucking gotta go. Multiplayer, man. Gotta go That's fucking like fucking rescue Lisa from the general store, <laughs> trapped in the fucking milk cooler or some shit. I mean, That's the hot shit, man. Fucking Ho was, over, Ho was over here with his character on a goddamn pogo stick out in the middle of the fucking road, pissing everybody on the server <laughs> off. Just eating a fucking uh, orange sherbet push push pop. Melting all over my hairy chest. Yes. 
need to make this. I play that. I'm I'm a sucker for this sort of thing though, like Dead by Daylight and Eel Dead and like anything that has the Predator game I was into. I want to almost get back into the Predator game and the fucking the Evil we, Dead we one. A lot of that. We did, yeah, for a while. <laughs> I want to get back into Evil Dead though. I'm sure there's probably some DLC out for it now that I would be interested in. I've been wanting to get back into uh, Hyperscape. Hyper. What was that game no, called? No, no, no. That game. That is, game's gone. They're done. Was it Hyperscape? Hyperscape is toast. Listen. No, it's not. Only if we stop remembering and stop talking about it. That's. I, and I'm happy to do that. <laughs> it wasn't. It was a pretty fun game. It was fine. Well, we literally played it for like a day. That game was Marjorie Taylor Greene's favorite video game. Shut up. <laughs> Have you have you guys tried uh, Vampire: The Masquerade Bloodlines Blood Hunt? Uh, I have not. There's also a werewolf game I wanted to play too. But how is? Did you play Masquerade? Is it is it good? I played it a little bit. Yeah, it um, it was pretty fun. I thought I didn't I didn't dislike it really. I like the idea that you could get respawns in it by finding certain people with like a certain blood type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would give you a respawn, and I like that's kind of a fun idea because it gives you a little more chance to play in one match, you know, a little, a little better chance to get to the end. I think I've just gotten to the point where there's so many games that are coming out that I'm just going to sit back and wait for people to be like, Hey, that, yeah, there's this really good game that everybody's playing and it's blowing up and then I'll try it instead of hopping on all this shit and trying to figure it out for myself, you know? It's a lot of work to sift through stuff. Yeah, just yeah. let the fucking let the people figure it out. You know, let them fucking deal with it. I don't know. And it's time to spin that wheel. <laughs> I've, I've I've been playing Fortnite a lot recently, me and Wolf. But they oh, yeah. recently had a crossover with Fall Guys. So oh. to unlock a skin in Fortnite, you had to play one hundred <laughs> rounds of Fall Guys. Holy shit! Yeah. We fucking oh, that's, did it. that's why you've been playing fucking Fall Guys. That's why I've been playing and Fall I Guys. I like how you say, yeah, just recently uh, been playing a lot of Fortnite. Motherfucker, you and Wolf play Fortnite all the goddamn time. That's yeah, true. Recently. Yeah, recently. But recently, <laughs> more. We, we, we kind of came back to it. We fell off for a while. There were a couple seasons there where we weren't that interested. So we, like, drifted away from it. But this season has Darth Vader as the last skin. And it's got Indiana Jones in it. So I'm there. Is pretty, I'm in there. It's pretty bitching. Yeah. Hey. What do you guys think about Steam Deck knockoffs? Have you been seeing all the kick Kickstarters for like for like Steam Decks that aren't Steam Decks? Oh god. And they're guaranteed these have been to around. have uh, stick drift. These have been around for years already. Like what's the what are we doing? The Steam Deck popularized them, I guess. And the sad thing is it's just a bunch of people like us three. They're like, hey, um, let's fucking put this Kickstarter up and we'll build these things in our fucking garage. And it's just going to run fucking Android, and uh, yeah, we'll call it a Steam Deck competitor. There's a shit ton of them. I see, I've see. i seen three new ones on Kickstarter ads on Facebook in the past, like, four days. I, uh, well, we already have the, the Switch Plus. I mean, what else do you need? You don't need a AMD Ryzen 9600. My Steam Deck works great for opening cases, so... I we, we so those r rumors about the Switch Pro have been starting again. Like people have been starting to say, oh, "No, it's coming. It's a coming again." Do you either of you care about that at all? No. I'm content with the two switches that I have. I don't even have an OLED. Yeah. We I just I that have back an there OLED. is an OLED. And we literally just set up the OLED, like, with our account and our games, like, a week ago. And then I think Katie said she played a little bit of... I can't even remember now. I played a couple SNES titles, and then I put it back on the shelf. I, I, yeah. Nintendo just knows that they don't have to do... I, I feel like Nintendo just does the bare minimum because they know they can and get away with it, and it'll still... You know, people are... Because here's the thing. People are still buying Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which was a game that was developed for the fucking Wii U. 
I don't even know how many years ago now, like what, nine years ago probably or some crazy shit, people are still buying fucking uh, Mario Odyssey, which came out. It, what five years ago now? This is ironic because this is what the thing stuck on was no new Mario Kart. <laughs> was yeah, the next topic. I mean, it, <laughs> they know they 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 know they they don't have to fucking make games. It's just you're, yeah, you're gonna be playing the old shit and you're gonna be happy with it. And like Mario Golf comes out and that's cool, but you know you can only play Mario Golf for so long, and then they're gonna fucking just put out like, another Mario Golf ten years from now, three consoles later. So. Just really want like that's the thing that bothers me the mo- the most probably about the Switch besides how much performance it doesn't have is like it can't even really handle its own web store very well like every yeah, time you boot the just... eShop up it takes like five Chugging. minutes to load and like you scroll down and then it's gonna take another minute to download like all yeah. the thumbnail <laughs> it's just like it's a miserable experience that is, it's I terrible. always thought that was me until I have two switches now and like super super fast internet it doesn't matter if it's docked or not. That store no nope. pisses me the fuck off. It is so it's goddamn awful. slow. And it's like the it's... refresh rate on the scrolling is really low too sometimes. Sometimes it's not bad, but then every once in a while you get like towards the bottom of a page and it's like not wanting to do anything. You feel like you're on an old Acer tablet from like 2007. Although it's fucking dog shit. We do have to say rest in peace to the Zelda creator because I heard he got assassinated last week. Nope. Nope. And we spin the wheel one more time. (laughs) Anyways, yeah, I want to switch Pro very badly, but only if they make it so that it applies performance boosts to extant games. I don't want to have to download patches. I don't want to have to wait for developers to be like, we're going to patch you know, whatever fucking yeah. old-ass game so that it runs at better than 10 frames per second. If they fix the store, that would be good. And we also have, like, in September, October, the store for the uh, DS is going offline, right? The eShop is going off, which, okay, that's yeah. fine. It, it lasted so long. I mean, I'm sure that they could probably come up... They could probably, like, take a page out of EA's thing and make some predatory thing, and Nintendo could fucking like easily pay the servers to keep that system here's, running but here's what they should have done with so what is it nintendo online or whatever what's their fucking the subscription service yeah nintendo and Switch they just online. made like the premium version of it which is like 25 dollars a month or something mm-hmm. if they actually wanted to like sell that shit i feel like all they had to do was copy xbox live like, hey, you have a friends list now. You can, like, start a fucking party and chat with people. You can invite friends easily instead of, like, we're still using friend codes and shit. Like, it's the fucking late 90s or whatever. I, I don't I don't know how they haven't done that yet. They should... Their next, like, real console, I think they just need to completely overhaul the operating system and how the friends list works and all that shit. And then uh, they yeah, they've, that they've needed to do that system. since... They've needed to do that since the Wii and, like, the original yeah. DS. Because people they... like people like playing Nintendo games online with their friends, but they're like, "Hey, you can do that, but you're gonna have to look up a tutorial." I Fuck mean, you. people have been saying this for literally, you know, over a decade now. Like, Nintendo needs to completely overhaul their entire thought process regarding, yeah. you know, the backend technology, the user interface, the way every single fucking piece of it works. They need to tear down and rebuild because it's been bad and it just keeps being bad and nothing changes but people so, can find it i mean that's the power of really really good exclusive franchises what are yeah. you, what are your guys' thoughts on a nice cold can of spaghettios no hard pass okay also hard pass unanimous okay all right all right motion carries Or skipping the wheel <laughs> based on our cold spaghetti as vote. Okay. All right. I, I I just have to throw this out here, Frank. Frank stayed at my place a few weeks ago. Um, I don't remember for what, but we had some adult beverages at the end of the night, and uh, Frank, in passing, was like, "I showed him where the canned food was. Like, if you get hungry, or whatever." And he's like, "I'm gonna fuck those cans of spaghettios up later." And I was like, "All right." 
I wake up the next morning, Frank is gone, and there's two cans of SpaghettiOs on my coffee table in the living room <laughs> with a fucking <laughs> fork still in it. And, like, there was, like, an empty bag of chips or something, too. I can't remember. Something that he had brought, I think. So he had killed two cans of SpaghettiOs <laughs> just in the living room on the couch and uh, didn't even, wasn't even ashamed enough to hide the evidence. They're just chilling there. <laughs> I gotta find the video. I gotta find, I took a picture. I think there was a bunch of, like, Bud Light cans everywhere, too. Oh, no. Because I took a picture and I sent it to, like, my group chat. I was like, when when Frank comes over. There was, like, 18 uh, just random beer, because I brought beer and then I ran out of beer and I started drinking all the sour beers and all the nasty shit. There was, like, a stack of, like, 18 beer cans. Yeah. I'm going to find it and send it to Frank so he can put the picture in the fucking video. And by the way, this is the same person. I can seriously, like, hike, like, ten miles out in the desert in, like, four hours. He's the most in shape. He, he's got the body of Burt Kreischer, but, but like, also the athleticism of Burt Kreischer. Uh, those I don't know why. Jeans. I fucking why found Why do it. I associate with you? This is... To, you're just the dregs, <laughs> the dregs of humanity. You're un, you're like a cockroach. You're just fucking unkillable. I won't die. I should have died at like 17, 18, 27. Like I, I should have died. I should be dead. I just fucking won't. I mean, the, the man who death forgot. Andrew, check your phone for context. Boy, this is gonna make me sad, huh? I drink everything yeah. except for the Yinglings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Yinglings were mine. Everything else was Frank. Oh, oh Fra Frank will put it in post. Frank, you're putting the video. Oh, I know, but still, just like <laughs> Jesus age. Yeah, I thought Dim's, I had a lot. Dim's Discettios. There's, there's like. There's so many beers there and two Skedio cans. And good thing they were the easy opener. He might have cut his fucking hand off. Probably would have been missing another one. You would have found a fucking knife just sticking out of one of them. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest butcher knife I had. It's hard out there, guys. It's rough. In this economy, we might all end up eating SpaghettiOs, thanks to Biden. My wife and I both ate ramen last night. That's how much Biden is fucking the American people. <laughs> yeah, but it was like fancy ramen. It was what? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like, like fancy ramen. It was like the four dollar packs. <laughs> no, I, no, I, I had. Bougie. You know, they were called so like Mia Mia or some shit. I don't. My my. I don't know. They Mama. Were weird. I think. Mama. Did you bring them? I, I don't. Re I didn't recognize them, so I assumed you brought them over. I brought over one of the Indian curry ones, and then I brought over an Indomai, and then uh, a curry. I brought over, like, three things of ramen for you guys to try. No, but I have... I was too scared to try the curry. I have opened up his, his cabinet where he keeps the ramen noodles and stuff, and he he has regular people ramen, too. It's not all fancy, expensive stuff. He Thank does, you, Frank. He does, you. he does have, he does have yeah. working man but ramen in there, the 25 I will be cent... I will be honest that that, that, ramen, that ramen is for my wife. I do not partake... In the creamy chicken, uh, oh. what's the brand? Marachan or whatever? Marachan, yeah. yeah. Or Top Ramen. I mean, like, I do, but if I have a choice, I'm going to... So what I'll do with the, the the workings people ramen, is that what we're calling it? Um, I like to get the chili pack. Oh, so yes, like the green one? Bean and meat, but the green chili. Yeah. yeah. The green, and, I'll, and then I'll pork. So you take a pork and a chili, and you make those two together. That's, that's some good shit right there. Man. What I also do whenever I feel like this is like a huge poverty mill for me is what I'll do is I'll like I'll just like uh, uh, marinate like a bunch of chicken or I'll make like meatballs or something and I'll cook them up and then slice them up and then just all week I'll just eat fucking ramen and top that. Um, yep. I also go to like the Dutch country market and shit and get dehydrated uh, vegetables like dehydrated soup vegetables. So you can, like, get a little fucking fiber and nutrition in there, too. Dude, I was actually I thinking used... about that. So it's fucked up, man. I had I had a bowl of ramen for lunch, and then I had fucking ramen for dinner last night. Because I had to help uh, John bring a bunch of shit over. So we were, like, moving stuff. Uh, you know, I had to fucking max out the carbs. But what the bowl had uh, cabbage in it. Yeah. 
can you get like just dehydrated cabbage nope. to just like yeah, add you can. ramen? Yeah, you can. I fucking love that, that, that cabbage in it. That dehydrated cabbage is fucking on point. Yeah, it's the shit. I don't know what it is about dehydrated cabbage, but it reheats just to the right like consistency. I don't know. It's good also, shit. I've also lived off of hot dogs and rice, but a very good dessert. Fucking hear me out. Hot dogs and rice <laughs> is rice, and you put like a little bit of like uh, grape jelly on it for dessert. I'm good, thanks. No, no, it's it's good. If you're fucking, if you're poor, poor dessert rice. Dude, I won the lottery and I still spent like ten thousand plus dollars on alcohol last year. So like, <laughs> uh, that'll happen. Like you have to like when you're poor and broken shit and you spend a lot of your money on like <laughs> or you're booze, an alcoholic <laughs> on booze and marijuana. Uh, you might you, you might be eating you know a lot of rice and hot dogs, ramen. <sighs> I would my my go to for ramen was always like you know whatever the cheapest shittiest ramen you could find is and then a can of ham, like the Just slice up a little can of ham, potted like ham, the potted meat, cubed, yeah, the, yeah, it's not spam, spam, but, spam like, but but ham, yeah, it's basically the same thing though, yeah, yes, yeah. I, I just remember growing up eating those fucking Vienna, the, the like the one thing that I'm like, how did I do that? Those Vienna sausages, the canned wieners. Yeah. Where, like, you take a bite and it just disintegrates into, like, the mushiest, like, liver-worst consistency of, like, bland, nasty. I don't know how I did those, man. Yeah, there was, there was one day where I woke up and I was like, I can't do that anymore. I can yeah. never do that again. All right, first I think that's off, how Vienna sausages right. go. Just one day you're like, nope, not well, anymore. Regular Vienna sausages are fucking trash. You gotta get the fucking barbecue ones. No, thanks. Yeah. Have, no, have you ever I'm, had... Have you ever been I'm to, uh, well, I'm sure you've been to, I, I mean, they have it around here at, like, tractor supply stores and shit, because I guess it's a a novelty in that realm of things, but the, the like, pickled sausages, Frank? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like a oh. can of, like, or, a, like, a jar I, of hot links. Like a red hot link, I and they're pink, pickled? yeah. Oh. I sincerely doubt that there's anything oh. pickled that Frank has not eaten. Oh. <laughs> You're right. I actually, I just threw away a, I should have fucking given it to you, I threw away a jar of quail eggs. It was quail eggs and jalapenos and stuff. I would throw one on like a salad every once in a while or whatever. They were all right. But I was just like, dude, it's going to take me three years to eat these quail eggs. And at that point, I'm going to be questioning if they're going to kill believe. me or not. So I can't believe you didn't give Frank your quail <laughs> <laughs> They're the good ones. They're the 78s. Also, uh, we need to wrap this up. But um, whenever I come over for what's-his-face's fucking birthday party, I left like three pickles in a bag in your refrigerator that I'm going to eat that night. You son of a bitch. Maybe I already ate him. <clears throat> hey, do you have my charger for my GoPro? Isn't that, is that what you're oh, returning to me? Oh, and I have a battery, too. I have a battery, and okay. I've got the charger. Yeah. Do you yeah. have my Do you have the charger for charger. my Sybian? First off, that motherfucker plugs into car batteries. I think you have my power cord for my CPAP, too. <laughs> Dude, I have... <laughs> <laughs> You have the mains plug into my iron lung. Uh, thanks, Javelin, for letting us use your song. I bet yeah, you yeah. doubt that you didn't think it was going to be so bad, huh? Yeah, thanks, Tyler Edwards. You didn't know what you fucked up then, huh? Soda Popensky, that's the name of it. It's great. Go listen to it. Thanks, Tyler Edwards, for our horrific art. Lindsay Brohan. You guys know the way we end every show, where I pop a live flash grenade. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. All right, Frank, you have to edit that where there's an explosion. Oh, I can do that now. Uh, <laughs> next time I'm going to talk about Deadly Premonition because I have a whole saga to go through. Oh, don't worry. Next week, we're going to spin that motherfucking wheel. Okay. I, I like the wheel. Dude, I broke my whole flashbang. <laughs> <laughs> What's the word of the day? Uh, the word of the day is regret.